Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to present you how I'm going to repair the exhaust on this Opel Corsa C. Now in my situation I already inspected the damaged parts. I took the measurements of all the exhaust assembly from the first damaged part to the last one. After doing that, take some pictures of the parts that are bended or damaged. So when you are in the shop you can double check how it looks like. Also very important is to take the diameter size because if you want to repair the exhaust without welding it you will have to use adapters and therefore you will have to use the correct size like for example this exhaust diameter is 50 millimeters therefore you will need some adapters which will of course match with the 50 millimeter and be able to tight it nicely and even I've got also two flexible exhaust pipes this might be very useful especially at the end where the original pipe is very much like bended like a snake so once again in my situation I will have to replace this part and then I've got the sound diffuser and the end I will probably have to replace from this point all the way to the end everything because there is no point to keep this part even though it's a good one we will see how it goes so I'm gonna start with this part and by the way this is the most important part because if there is a leak here then this sensor will not read correct information so in theory if you cut the exhaust from this side then the car will run normally there is no problem you might have a lot of sound but it will never affect the performance of the engine so let's see how we do that all right so obviously first step is to lift the car and place it on jack stands preferably on both sides and as high as possible because you're gonna be under the car a lot then you might need the saw to cut the exhaust parts and some other power tools that will make the life easier and put some safety glasses on all right so down here under the car i'm gonna start with this first damage part i'm gonna cut as close as possible to the damage part it's free from that side there is the oxygen sensor so I'm gonna cut it from here so this is how it looks like now I just need to push it a little bit more on this side but that's gonna be later when I'm gonna work on the other side as well I will have to work on this sound diffuser so I will have to remove all the exhaust and then I'm gonna pull out these pins from the rubber bushings I will unplug the oxygen sensor, the connector is down here, you press on this tab and pull it out and be prepared for the exhaust to come out when it comes. <clears throat> Alright, so this side is fixed and I have to work down here on this diffuser because as you can see it's full with holes and it's rusty and this car needs to pass the inspection. I will cut this diffuser from this side and hopefully I'm gonna find the pipe inside there so I can connect the new sound diffuser which is a little bit shorter than the original one so therefore if it's shorter I hope I can connect it with the pipe inside and therefore I will not need to weld these supports which will go on the rubber bushings that will be great because then this will be connected as usual and I don't need to worry about making new connections so let's see, let's cut it from down here. So down here you can see the sound diffusing material. You can of course remove it and gotta make sure that you dispose it properly. Now if I want to approximately measure the size, you can see that it perfectly fits with the original size. So if I'm gonna cut the pipe from there, I can easily connect it back. And this is how it looks like. Now I can tighten it in. Now I can place the new sound diffuser. Let's tighten it in. Once I place the new sound diffuser like that, I'm gonna cut it from here. All right guys, so I have to use this hard pipe in order to install the exhaust on those curbs because the flexible exhaust will always touch on some parts and that's not good. Now I'm gonna cut this rusty end as well. I managed to find this type of clamps which are much stronger than these ones. In order to make it have a better contact on the sound diffuser pipe down here, I will cut a little bit the ends. So now I'm going to install this 
from the pipe. As you can see in this adapter, I made a 13 millimeter hole in order to fit it into this support holder. All right, so I think the hole must be done here. Next, I'm going to place a support onto this bolt. It will go like that. I remove this 13 millimeter bolt and I'm going to cut this washer in order to place the support which will act as well as a washer on this bracket. Here it goes. All the exhaust system looks good. I will start the car and check for leaks. So I had to open it back because on this side is leaking exhaust, also on this point. So I'm going to place some aluminum foil. So I will basically try to put as many layers as possible of aluminum foil so that this will seal completely and I will be sure that it will seal. All right, finally this one is tight. I had to remove the pipe from the back in order to pull this old pipe out. Now I'm gonna start the car and check for leaks, the moment of truth. There are no leaks on this side. I can feel it with my hand. So finally I'm done with this exhaust. After four days of work, the exhaust looks good, solid, without leaks. So thank you guys for watching. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. It helps me a lot to know what I'm gonna do in the future. So until next time, take care so I can see you soon.